All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. The ayes have it. The chair now recognizes Chairman Crock with the purpose of the amendment. Proceeding means 530. Mr. Chairman, by direction of the committee, I move the adoption of the amendments to Rule 34, found on page 12 of the committee report. The amendments to Rule 34 concern the scope of work a permanent committee undertakes, eliminates the permanent credentials committee from determining the permanent role of the convention and eliminates the Permanent Organization Committee. Can you explain the purpose for a moment? It is part and parcel of moving the election of the Permanent Chairman forward in the process. And so as I understand it, in order to make the other rule you just passed make sense, you have to pass this. That is correct. There is a white light on microphone to the delegate to recognize the equipment of the interrupting action. Please state your name, Senator District, and the nature of the interrupting action. Mr. Chairman, Leslie Thomas, SC 23. Question. If you pass, since you have to pass 33, and I was in line to talk, but I didn't get a chance, 34 must remove the permanent. Organization Committee, am I right? And severely take away the power of the Credentials Committee. Is that correct? It's correct that in order to make the previous rule workable, you would have to pass this rule. All right, there's another light uh, on microphone one. Say your name for your interrupting. Point of information, Dan Pickens, SD16. There's a lot of question about this and the prior question concerning, it still does not preclude the fact that we have a quorum as specified by multiple ways in the rules. Is that correct? Correct. All right. I don't see any uh, lights. Anybody want to speak in favor or in opposition? So we're going to vote on the amendment to Rule 34. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say nay. Aye. Ayes have it. Rule 34 is amended. The chair now recognizes Chairman Crocker for the purposes of the report to the amendment to Rule 38. Mr. Chairman, by direction of the committee, I move the adoption of the amendment to Rule 38, Section 7, found on page 14 of the committee report. The amendment to Rule 38 clarifies that only elected federal office holders are not eligible to serve as national at large as national at large delegate for alternate. Would you mind providing kind of a brief explanation for that exchange? The the delegation needs to under, I mean, the delegates need to understand that at the national convention, any senator who is a Republican U.S. senator and any member of the U.S. House of Representatives who is a Republican automatically has credentials to admit that person to the floor of the convention. From time to time, in, in earlier years, those people require. Uh, delegate slots and kept you and me from being having the opportunity to be delegates to the convention the national rules have fixed I that it, by the way our rule i got the message because we got the message on enthusiastic when we said oh. uh oh, all you mean on your phone. let me Wrong. be sure i look at the rule be sure it's right our rule was too broad it would preclude our governor uh, from being a delegate uh, to, in order to be the chairman of the convention, if we ever wanted to do that. Uh, we are reducing that to simply the federal office holders who automatically have uh, passes to the floor of the convention by virtue of their office. Thank you, Mr. Crocker. 
There is a white light on the microphone uh, for the delegate is record, recognized for a point of uh, interrupting action. Please state your name, Senator of the District, and the nature of the interrupting action. Chairman, my name is Russell Hall. I'm from Senate District 18, and I have an interjecting motion uh, in Section 10 B2. I would like to move to change the percentage of the candidates' uh, total uh, vote cast. Just to save you some time, the parliamentarian says that's out of order because that section is dealt with in another proposed rule change. So if you hold on to that until when we get to that, we will deal with this one first. Thank you. All right. Does anybody want to speak in favor of the uh, proposed amendment? There is a green light on for microphone one. Uh, the chair will recognize the delegate. Please state your name, Senator. Whoa. Stretching here. My name is Rita Davis. I'm in District 26. I was a person that was eliminated from the National Convention in, uh, I believe it's 1996. And um, it was sort of a vendetta from a group that wanted to make sure that I didn't go, and they ran Lamar Smith against me, and I lost by five votes. So I am very much in favor of this amendment. My argument then, which is what I think everyone uh, on the committee was supporting, is that you don't need to be a delegate if you are a federally elected official. Chair recognizes the delegate at microphone two who wishes to speak against the amendment to the rule. The delegate is recognized. Please state your name, Senator Charles District, and make your John Dozler, SC12. I rise to speak against this motion. Uh, I mean, this amendment. Our public officials represent the people. The delegates that go to national convention represent this body. Our governor and other elected officials should not be representing this delegation because they represent the people. Does anybody else wish to be heard on the amendment to rule 38? Section 7, that is section 7. Seeing none, we're going to move forward with the vote. All those in favor of the amendment, please signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. Ayes have. The chair recognizes uh, uh, Mr. Frogger for a report on the amendment to rule 38, section 10. Mr. Chairman, by direction of the committee, I move the adoption of the amendment to Rule 38, Section 10, found on page 15 of the committee report. The amendment to Rule 38, Section 10 provides that a delegate to the National Convention is released from their candidate pledge beginning on the second ballot. There is a uh, white light in action. The chair will recognize Delegate at microphone four, please state your name, Senator. Sure. 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 Sure.